connections. And you mentioned yeah. how you'll look on social media and everyone presents having a baby is perfect, but yeah. people don't realize one in seven women suffer with postpartum, postpartum. depression, yes. which is a yes. really high statistic, yeah. but it, yeah. people don't talk about it enough. Yeah, yeah. and when we, when we look at deliveries, well, first of all, a lot of people will have what's called postpartum blues. So most moms, after they deliver, they'll have like episodes where they're crying and they have these mood swings and right. they're a little anxious, but typically that gets better after a couple of weeks. Right. So I always tell women, like number one, if you notice that your symptoms are very intense those first two weeks, or if your symptoms continue past two weeks, definitely talk to your doctor because a lot of women will have postpartum depression like you mentioned. Right. And the thing is, a lot of moms think exactly what you thought. Yep. They said, we've all these years, all we have wanted was this beautiful baby. Right. And I'm looking at my baby, I love my baby, but I don't feel connected for right. some reason. Right. And I'm crying and moms just feel like they don't want to express those feelings mm -hmm. because they feel as though it's a character flaw right. or yeah. that right. they're a bad mom. Yes, or, but I went through all of those emotions. And you're yeah. feeling all of those things. Yeah. You're feeling all of those things, but just like people can have high blood pressure because of pregnancy or people have diabetes associated with pregnancy, sometimes postpartum depression is just a complication of pregnancy right. that is treatable with right. therapy and our medications, but your doctor can't help you get to the place you need to be in if if you don't talk about. talk so to us. Can I ask how you're doing now? So thank goodness I'm doing so much better. <laughs> I feel a million yes. times better. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank, yes. thank goodness. <laughs> and, and how, you know, how, so the two of you are now here after this long journey. And, you know, when you're seeing these pictures of Skylar and you, you admit even the childbirth and the ensuing weeks and months after. So how does it feel being parents now looking at your beautiful baby? Well, you know, it, it was so special because at about six weeks is when I really started to connect with her, like five to six weeks because she started cooing and she started mm -hmm. smiling. Like I remember rolling over one morning and I was like, good morning, Skylar Gray. And she just lit up and I was Aww. like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's real. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> Because at the very beginning, like all you're doing is breastfeeding. You feel like a milk machine and like she's not really responding much. Yeah. To, you know what I mean? She just cries because she wants Eat, to milk. sleep and poop. That's yes. what I said. Yes. Yeah. So now it's just, it's so special. <laughs> and we literally just sit there every night and we, we thank the Lord for this wonderful blessing and we're just so excited. We, we do, you know, in the morning, we're grabbing a cup of coffee and I look and I go, we have a baby. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, it, it, really it is. is. It's a little wild. surreal because it was such a long journey, but it, it truly has been a, an incredible blessing. Yeah. So.